Hey guys, and welcome back to Minnie's Coral Reef. I'm Mindy, and today I want to talk to you about how to make your dart frog vivarium bioactive. If you haven't seen my other vivarium video, in that one I actually had a waterfall and a water feature that I decided to actually get rid of. It was a little bit more maintenance than I wanted to deal with, and it actually caused too much moisture. Also in my last video, I made one mistake by not doing my research before I actually went in and bought my dart frogs. I listened to the pet store before actually doing research, and in doing so, I mixed species. And I just want to let everyone know that before buying a pet, you should always do your research. Because a pet store may not be knowledgeable, or they may not care. So I was lucky enough to find homes for all of my dart frogs besides one species that I decided to keep. So besides that, let's get on with the show. After carefully removing everything from the bottom of my vivarium, I was left with a small bit of water I removed with a shop vac. I then gave everything a good wipe down to make sure there was no leftover dirt or bacteria. Daytime temperatures between 72 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit are ideal for dart frogs. To make sure my tank stays warm enough, I purchased a Zilla heat mat. The heat mat conveniently had adhesive on one side where I could place it directly to the outside bottom of the tank. The first step was placing in the false bottom. For my vivarium, which is a 24 by 18 by 24, I used three five quart bags. As pouring in, I made sure to not inhale or get too close, since it was quite dusty. You'll want to make sure that the false bottom is completely level, and then finish with a spray of water to control the dust. Next, I placed a piece of substrate barrier over the false bottom. It's best to have an inch or two of excess material on all sides to prevent any materials from falling through. The ABG mix is next on the list. For a vivarium of my size, three four quart bags was enough. To find out what you may need with any material, you can always go to Josh's Frog's website, where they have an easy to use calculator. ABG has a few layers to it, so it's best to pour each bag into a container and mix before placing it into your vivarium. Make sure to use gloves as the ABG does contain abrasive material. Carefully pour the ABG into your vivarium making sure it does not go over the sides of the substrate barrier. It's best to focus on the outer edges, making sure the ABG stays above the barrier and then smooth out to the center. Continue with the sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss needs to be soaked in water and it will expand. Place the sphagnum in a bucket of water, let it fully absorb, and sit for at least two hours. Once the moss is mature, grab a large portion and squeeze a majority of the water out. Place the damp moss in the vivarium. Once you have the sphagnum moss in the tank, focus on the outer edges first making sure to completely cover the ABG. Then continue towards the center, making sure everything is level and packed down. Stay tuned for part two of how to make your dart frog vivarium bioactive. <laughs> 